Peter Von Panda here. Just finished assembling this end table here. Uh, got it on Amazon. I just wanted to kind of show it to you because it's an interesting and pretty unique design. And uh, I just wanted to give you some of the details about the table itself because I think it's going to be important. This is not an expensive table. It's only about 20 or 30 bucks. You assemble it yourself and it's not super big. Uh, the design is what really makes it interesting because it's small. As you can see my hand here on the top. Uh, but it has this large concave negative space here, and that is because you can swing it around off the side of the couch, instead of using it as an end table, swing it all the way around and put it into the couch like that. So if you're sitting on the couch and want your drink, your magazine, your TV remotes right next to you, pretty cool. It's like a little bit of a TV dinner type of stand but uh, serves a different, uh, serves dual purposes here by also serving as an end table. Now the nice thing is it's small, it's thin, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. You can walk around it pretty easily and you're gonna be able to kind of grab it and it's light and it's easy to move. Now, a couple of things I wanna show, show you about it is after putting it together, you know, you're kind of, you'll get what you pay for. First of all, this top piece is not wood. Um, it's probably press board underneath here and the material is like a vinyl wrap, kind of like you would put on the back of your iPad or your iPhone, and it's wrapped all the way around. And in fact, on the bottom, you can't see it here, but you can see where the vinyl wrap is uh, folded over on itself. You know, it's not a super high quality. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't even go to say it's not super high quality. It's pretty low quality. In fact, the vinyl wrap here is doesn't really fit that well. And I'm kind of pushing it down a lot of air bulbs. Okay, so I wouldn't expect that to last forever it's probably going to show some chipping and things like that you probably could make a, a wooden top uh and and put it on yourself but you know extra work i think you're probably better off buying kind of a slightly higher end piece uh the other thing here is all this uh black metal kind of looks like powder coated iron rod but it's not they're metal in their hollow metal uh square tubing so it's very very light as you can see, you can pick it up with one hand very easily. Um, and then there are a little bit of decorative finishes here, kind of this faux uh, marble or tile inserts here to give it just a little bit of kind of an artisan appearance, but these are simply, you know, pictures behind a little plastic uh, covering. Again, probably maybe vinyl or something like that. But it has some geometric shape, so it doesn't look like kind of the cheapest thing in the world that you can buy. It will kind of blend in with a little bit of Chevy chic or farmhouse chic decor. It's pretty easy to assemble. It has this little wire mesh bottom and you and you screw the two sides together uh, with these really long um, Phillips head screws. Um, so you kind of put it together like a the, the two pieces around the vertical piece and then you screw the top on via regular Phillips had wood screws and that's really it then you also put in you screw in these little rubber feet um, I tell you what you can tell here this one is screwed all the way down and this one is about a quarter inch high and that was uh, to accomplish a nice even non-rocking um, sturdy uh, base for it because the metal because it's thin and it's not super precise I noticed tends to warp a little bit, and so you might have to play around with those feet to get it even. But, like I said, if you just need something like this, college, home, something you want to beat around, you know, 25 bucks for this thing is a pretty good deal. Will fit in with most decors and pretty, pretty, pretty clever little design. Peter Von Panda, out.